Today we're going to be looking at the monster family of Claudine Wolf. What an amazing set. I love this one. Here are some of the other ones you can look at on the back. I already reviewed Family of Draculaura, except I did not get Fangelica yet. I don't know if it's Fangelica or Fangelica. Fangelica. The babies aren't that easy to get so far in Canada. I do have one on the way. Haven't showed up in stores, but if I order from Amazon, the Mattel store, but even on the Mattel store and Amazon.com, they're still hard to get them. This set looks so good. This is the epitome of the perfect Monster High. When I found out about Monster High a few years ago, the changes that they've made are what I wished would happen, and they look so good. I love it. I love everything about these. The only weird thing I've noticed is that the joints are inconsistent. So some sets have more articulation than others. There is a new Cleo set. Looks so good. Again, it comes with another boy. It may be a Target only exclusive because we have only seen it show up at Targets so far. You can see it right now on Target.com. I don't think it's for sale, but you can see pictures of it in the listing. It's a great looking set. Another boy about this age and another baby too about that age. I want to open this so badly. Don't make me wait anymore. Weredith is the little baby werewolf and Barker is the little boy wolf. You know Claudine and Paula is one of the little packs that I must get. I must, must get them all. What more do you want to see? I'm opening it. Here's a good look at them without the bubble interfering. Oh, they look so good. They look so good. The first doll we'll, we'll look at is Claudine. Claudine comes with two barrettes in her hair. Now, both of these things are separates. She has some wolfy pants on. This is an elastic waistband. I think everyone prefers that over Velcro. No articulated knees. So she's got the bent in leg and the straight leg. I personally like this pose. I know it's not a favorite of some others. The shoes look very similar to some of the other slumber sets, but I think these are original. She has hairy ankles, of course, and hairy wrists. It's a pretty cute little slumbery outfit. She's got a bend in her arm. We have shoulders, not ball joints, just rotation. Hips are ball joints, of course. Very cute, minimal look. The bone barrettes are adorable, and her hair is not the softest, but it is definitely soft enough. She's cute, she's pretty. Really like this one. She came with this swaddling. It's matte on one side, more velvety on the other. And I think that would probably be to wrap this thing in. Look how cute this is. So very, very cute. Her bottle does come off. That is what it looks like on its own. This is what she looks like on her own. Oh man, she's cute. Her tail is articulated, so it swivels all the way around. Her head just swivels. Her arms also rotate, and her legs rotate as well. That is cute. Let's wrap her up. And my favorite part of this set would have to be Barker. I just love this adorable size. He has one bent arm and one straight arm, two very hairy legs and two very hairy paws, and a fluffy tail. Seems to be that when you're a younger monster, you have more monster characteristics, and as you grow, you grow into your features. So your hands become less big and hairy, but that's very true for little animals. 
he is also wearing separates, which is amazing. They've let this shirt very wide at the bottom to leave room for his tail. It is a tank top, so that's good. The pants that he's got on are more sporty. Let me cut that little end off there. I'm not sure right now if Paula has the same bent arm or they made opposite bent arms for her. It's funny that they put the seam on the side instead of the back. No, I can show you his articulation. His leg can go back only this much. I don't know, maybe does it his tail, is that why? No, it just feels like it shouldn't go back further than that, so I won't force it. And it can go ahead this much. And he's a little blonde guy, and he's got a really great hairdo, and he's got some blue streaks. Really cute looking. Let me get his um, shorts on over his large feet. And his tail has to poke out over the top of them. He comes with this slumber mask, which is a really cute face. Look at those teeth. Luckily, they did not staple it into his head. I can get it to set like this. I'm having a hard time getting it to be functional. I also have a hard time of getting it straight. The best I can do is put it on top of his head like that. He also comes with this bone with a handle on it. A weird shaped bone. I don't know if it's supposed to be a snack or what, but he holds it. Here's the latest Chelsea boy, if you want to see the comparison. They're about the same size. Barker's head's much bigger. I guess I have to show you like this. The Chelsea's are wider in the chest area and in the hips. But the paws and the head and the hands are all larger on the Monster High characters. Pretty close to the right scale. There, I swapped their shorts and they are definitely interchangeable. These look really good on Barker. Yeah, such a cute set. I really love it. Let me know which character is your favorite. Let me know which Monster High family set is your favorite. Are you into these little guys? I love this size. Can't wait to find the other ones. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Let the dogs out. Oh, they dropped the blanket, Claudine. Look how. Oops. So cute. Oh, we're so cute. So cute. Oh.